this is crazy. We're actually going on a quick little mini vacation, just Paul and I. We have not done this since our honeymoon. So came back and then we just went to bed. It was, we, I don't know, it was late and uh, long, long drive. We got stuck in traffic. It was crazy. You should have been here like almost an hour earlier than we were. And it was just crazy yesterday, but it's been very, very low key because we are trying to recharge and get back into the swing of things. The girls have dance camp all week, both of them. So it's gonna be crazy, crazy around the house. This is crazy. We're actually going on a quick little mini vacation, just Paul and I. We have not done this since our honeymoon. So it's been quite a bit. I mean, we've been without kids before um, for like the night, but we've never, um, or like even like a night or two, but we haven't like gone away. So we're actually going away to this cute little um bed and breakfast so never been to one of those before so i'm really really excited um and it's a little crazy because this is actually the first time i've ever been without the dog and i'm like having more anxiety that like she's not around it's it just it's really weird because all her stuff is gone too so it's like at least like the kids stuff is all here too i'm like okay the kids are at my mom's house but it's like the dog has nothing, like there's nothing here. So it's been really weird with the dog. So, but anyway, so I wanted to show you guys what I normally do before we go on vacation. Now it's gonna be, I mean, it's only gonna be a couple days. So we really wanted to find somewhere because, um, well, first first things first, we were supposed to do a family vacation. That didn't happen um, because we had, um, our neighbor passed away. So we were delayed it by a couple days and then Paul got stuck with something with work. So then we were still gonna go to original plan was Nashville and we still had it all booked and everything. And then things happened and then we didn't end up going. And I looked at Paul and I'm like, we can, he's like, we can fly to Nashville. And then just me and him, cause my mom volunteered to take the kids. And I'm like, you know what? That'd be kind of fun. And then the more I thought about it, going to Nashville, we were only gonna be gone for three days. And I'm like, I don't know if it's worth to go to Nashville for three days. So I'm like, you know what, let's just go somewhere where we can just drive. So we're going to be driving. It's a few hours away. It's not like a quick drive. It actually is going to be a few hours. So, um, but it'll be nice. So the weather looks the same. So I'm going to kind of like, I don't know, I'm going to have to, it looks like it's going to be a little bit cool. So I have to kind of figure out like, like some warm clothes and some shorts and stuff. I don't know. I haven't decided what I was going to wear. Um, but we really, the main focus for this is Paul and I have been extremely, extremely stressed. It's been so crazy with work and everything that we just need like a break. So we just wanted to like unwind, relax. So a couple things that we're gonna be doing is I found, like I booked a bunch of restaurants. So we're gonna be eating out obviously cause this is an inn and, but obviously breakfast is included, which is really cool. So we got that. And then I found a winery. So I thought that would be kind of cool. I've never been on a winery where they do like a wine tour and everything. So I'm like, oh, that'll be kind of cool. So I don't know if we have to call and make reservations. I have to call and, I have to call them and ask. Um, and then we are also going to be doing some spa stuff. We booked massages for us, which is really, really nice. And then there's like a little cute downtown area. So I don't know if the last day um, after we check out, we might go to the downtown area and just do a little bit of shopping and see what's out there and then come home. So this is gonna be really, really fun. I'm really excited. I like need like relaxation for sure. And it's just been like, you know, I'm always running around with the kids 
and I'm doing stuff for the business and all my social media stuff. It's just, I need like a couple days to just, and I think the one thing that really bothers me, it's been like so, it hasn't been as hot as it normally is. So I even had the chance to even go outside and just like enjoy the sun. Like I wanted to go out today since I didn't have the kids yet and Paul had to go to work for a little bit. And I just want to go outside and soak some sun up. And I'm like, it's kind of cool. So I don't know. But I'm going to show you guys what I am bringing so far. All right. So first things first, since we're actually leaving in the late afternoon, um, I love to have the house clean. So I've been cleaning nonstop yesterday. And the only thing I had to do today was clean our bathroom. And which I normally clean on Fridays. But I'm like, you know what? It's okay. I can clean on Thursdays. Thursday, I also wash and straighten my hair, which is really nice because now I don't have to bring any of that kind of stuff for where we're going. Original plan, we were to sleep on Wednesday, so I'm like, oh, well, you know, obviously since, you know, things happen, that works out a lot better. So that's what I've been mostly doing all morning is doing my hair um, and then cleaning the bathroom. So laundry too. So this house is is in clean, tip-top shape, sheets, everything. Like, so when we come home, it's like freshly nice clean. But when I go ahead and get ready in the morning and I have to pack, I actually start putting stuff to the side. So as soon as I'm done like saying like putting my contacts in and my contact solution, I'll put that to the side instead of putting it away. As soon as I'm done brushing my teeth, I'll put that aside instead of putting it away. So stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you so far what I have. All right, so I've got my eye stuff, my deodorant, my hair stuff. So I don't have to, um, really do a lot with my hair, but Thursday nights I actually do my heatless curls. So I brought my heatless curls and my little cap that goes over my hair. I didn't actually use that last night because I tied my hair up, but um, I wanna make sure I use that because I, I'm gonna bring my curling iron just in case, but you know, brushes and everything. And then I'm like trying to figure out like what I really need. So I'm thinking this is the only hair products I need. I'm trying to not bring as much as possible so I don't really know. So I brought that stuff and then I'm going to bring my curling iron, which I got to figure out. I just bought that from Amazon because I don't know why Beach Waver doesn't have like their curling iron just doesn't have like one of these Velcro things to hold the stuff together. So I bought this. So I'm going to go ahead and try to figure that out. Um, this is all the makeup I'm bringing. I want to bring as least as possible. So I know like right now, like I actually did put makeup on already. Um, I put a, the my BB cream on, but when I go out, I think I'm gonna do my Yunsa foundation powder just to kind of like get away the oils and everything. So bare minimum, bronzer, um, highlighter, blush. I am bringing my whole uh, eyeshadow palette. I just have a little brown on right now, but no concealer, nothing like that. So just, just stuff like this, I'm gonna put it in a little bag. And then some stuff that I also use. So I've been doing, my Maylies, like they're the flat and foxy and flex and everything. I'm not going to bring any of that stuff. I'm actually currently doing that um, video on those products. And I'm like, you know what? If I miss a day, because I already put my stuff on today, I won't be able to use it for Friday. But I'm like, oh, we come back on Saturday. I'll just go ahead and just put everything on Saturday. So I'm just missing a day. So I'm like, because I really didn't want to bring all these products. But um, self, uh, I was going to say self tanner. Uh, this is my little bag of travel stuff. So I actually have in here, what I do is I keep all my travel products that I get that I really, really like from like Ipsy and stuff. So I have all my face stuff already set, ready to go for like weekend getaways. Cause we go a lot, we go away a lot in the fall and in the winter just for like the weekend. Cause we have a place um, in another state. So that's what I, have already there, body wash, lotion, hand lotion, um, sunscreen. That's what I was trying to say. Um, and then my self tanner, I'm just trying to finish this up. I actually started using Peter Jane's stuff. Oh my God, that stuff is amazing. But I do have like a little bit left of that. So I wanna go ahead and just, I don't like to waste products. So I have that and my eyebrow and my eyelash serum. So that stuff I use daily. This is stuff that's new. So I'm gonna put this in a bag. I I still think I'm gonna have to use my regular little bathroom accessory bag because I feel like I have more of this stuff to put in a bag than I do my clothes because I really won't have that many clothes to go ahead and um, to bring. I'm trying to figure out though what to wear to a winery. 
that's my challenge right now. I gotta figure that out just in case like it is cool. I might have to go ahead and bring pants. So I might have to bring a couple different outfits. All right, so this is the bag that I have all my bathroom stuff in. This is like my go-to for like everybody or just myself. So um, got that and I'm bringing um, my big purse because I'm gonna be putting um, my iPad and my planner in there just so I have a little something to do if I have some downtime. And then of course like this is what I normally wear. This is for my camera. So and then I'm gonna put all my chargers and stuff in there. And then so far this is what I have for clothes wise. So I'm like at a little bit of a loss on what I should wear to the winery. I don't know. I got I still have to grab my um shoes for my dress, but figured maybe I wear this out to dinner tomorrow night. I've got some white shorts with some tank tops, some dressy shorts with some tank tops, pants, you know, um, just in case with my gym shoes. And I figured if I don't wear that, maybe I'll just wear that home to be comfortable in the car and either wear my gym shoes or I'm going to be bringing my flip-flops. Some suit just in case. Um, and then I just have to pack some pajamas, which is normally I just do like shorts and a short sleeve shirt so that's pretty much what i'm bringing with me i'm just i don't know it's kind of hard because it's like i don't know how dressy the restaurants are so that's why i thought i've got that um but otherwise i think maybe like i'll wear this to the winery and do out that out to dinner one time or i don't know maybe i'll just do the white shorts with one of these tops for the winery i don't know but that's what i have in my bag. delicious so it was a mushroom and zucchini quiche with potatoes fruit sash it's so so good the the juice was freshly squeezed i didn't eat my um my muffin though i'm like i'm still hungry but i'm like trying not to overeat because i'm not used to eating this early in the morning but really nice so got here yesterday we went to an irish pub the food was good, it was different. Little disappointment because we got this chicory board and there was supposed to be this beet cured salmon on there. And that's why I'm like, oh, an Irish place having a chicory board. I'm like, I wanna try this because it was all different kind of things on there than the normal one. And it was not on there and I looked at him and I I told Paul, I'm like, well, like, I would have gotten the whiskey salmon dinner but I didn't because the salmon was on there. So I'm like, um, I guess, something happened and they didn't end up having the salmon but so came back and then we just went to bed it was we I don't know it was late and uh, long long drive got stuck in traffic it was crazy should have been here like almost an hour earlier than we were and it was just crazy yesterday but 
feel very relaxed, which is really, really good. Um, the room's beautiful. So right now we are going to, I don't know what we're gonna plan for the day. We do have a spa appointment in the late afternoon and we have dinner reservations tonight actually in our inn, so that's really nice. Um, so my plan was get a massage, come back, nicely get ready, or even after um, the spa, even go for a walk or something, but like just nice, ease, slow um, before dinner. And then I'm not sure what we're gonna do during the day. We saw, um, President Grant's house is here. So Paul was kind of wanting to see that. I knew somebody was here. I couldn't think um, what historical person was here. I thought it was Mark Twain. But we're just going to go ahead and go for a walk right now. I think and scope out the property. But it's beautiful out here. We are right along the Mississippi River. Um, yeah, so we'll just see where the day takes us. I did want to go to a winery. Um, those open around lunchtime. And the one that I found is very open. It looks like there's a lot to do on there. So I don't know, we'll see what we're gonna be up to.
so we just got done eating breakfast the breakfast that we have been having is so good i actually like you guys know like i'm not a breakfast person and i absolutely absolutely love it so um last night for dinner it was the food here was really 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 good um paul had the beef wellington and i had like a half main lobster so good i actually ate all my food paul ate all his food like that's a surprise but i like never eat my food i always have leftovers so um don't know the plan for today we are checking out in a little bit i already packed my bags way before um we had breakfast paul was still sleeping so it was just nice and relaxing it's been those two days have been so relaxing so i would highly highly recommend if you guys can get away for two days at like a bed and breakfast and just relax and just tune everything out i feel like fully recharged which is really nice i think it was something that like i really really needed i do miss the kids so um paul was thinking of going back downtown and going to see uh president grant's house so we might do that um but we're just gonna take a nice relaxing day i'm not gonna lie like really can't wait to get the kids i really do really miss them so but yeah so we're gonna pack up and hit the road and figure out what we're gonna do <laughs> We had a really nice little getaway. Paul and I came home yesterday. Well, actually on our way home, we got a quick bite to eat. And then we went to go pick up the kids and we came home and we were all so exhausted. So we just watched movies downstairs and just hung out with them. And they were telling me what they did at grandma's. So I'm actually going to be ending our weekend vlog. It is already late afternoon on Sunday. It's been very, very low key because we are trying to recharge and get back into the swing of things. The girls have dance camp all week, both of them. So it's going to be crazy, crazy around the house. Beginning of the month is going to be in a few days. And that means for me, August, it's getting ready to go back to school. So I'm going to try to get into a routine this week that is kind of going to get me into a routine for school with them. I kind of want to wake up earlier. I was talking to Paula. I'm like, I want to go to bed earlier um, and just start working out. And we are going to hopefully, crossing my fingers, detox this week. I'm kind of going back and forth I wanna, on what I want to do. I have two programs. One is the seven-day detox, which I've never done before from love sweat fitness and i have it and then the other one is my toned it up they have a five day and a seven day but i rather do the five because like monday through friday is always easier than trying to do something on saturday and sunday like today probably would have been a really good day but we try to enjoy our weekends so i'm trying to figure it out but at least with the toned up one the seven and the five like i said it is pretty much the same I just basically cutting down the days so and with that one it's giving me an option to do some cardio first thing in the morning which i have been doing so i'm really trying to get into that plus when i get on a good cleaning schedule i want to make sure i get on a good you know organizing the house schedule for this week because the first month starts the very first week i always like fully clean certain areas of the house so it's gonna be quite a reset that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a reset because that's what I'm going to be doing. So, um, but at least I know what I'm doing tomorrow for eating. So, I have a little somebody next to me. He was waiting so patiently. Weren't you? Yeah. So, did you have fun at Grandma's house? Yeah. Yeah, what did you guys do? Remember? I do calling in, watch TV, eating, and watching TV again. 
You want to go field? Well, you wanna. Well, you weren't watching TV. TV, you were watching movies, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was movies that they were watching. So. Yeah. You wanna go back to grandma's? Yeah. <gasps> you don't wanna come? Where's that? Where's that, that noise? It's Barkley. She's here too. Yeah, I would say out of everybody yesterday, Barkley was this one said this one ran to me when I came in the house to go ahead and pick them up. Bella was more like, "Hi, mom," you know, just kind of playing cool. Um, but this one's like, I missed you so much, but mm. I miss you so much, Dad. So that was really nice to have him. Yeah. Um, Barkley, <laughs> Barkley on the other hand, okay, stop. Barkley on the other hand, I think, I think the vlog knows that you love me a lot. Um, Barkley on the other hand was crazy, crazy attached to me. You guys have seen Barkley like really attached to me. She was like yeah. overly um attached it was crazy like she she was she's right next to me right now there she is right next to me see <laughs> hi barkley hi Ducky. how are you Hello. did you miss mommy yes mm, did you miss mommy yes all right so you can see she's hanging out with us yeah and he was trying to play with her and she just wanted nothing to do with him she I just need to tell you something. she wanted to go to me what do you want to say yeah, every time we want Garfield. Every time you watch Garfield. At Grandma's house. Mm -hmm. And I watch it with Bella, Grandma, and now with Papa. I didn't finish it. Mm. You fell asleep? Yeah. 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 And the sleepy back. Like he put me in. My bed. Yes, yeah, okay, it happens. You normally yeah. don't make it through movies unless it's like in the middle of the day. So, this one right here, we get. <laughs> He's goofy. You are gonna be alone with me all week. Yay! You're going to Target too. We are. We got some Again plans. Toys. Well, hold on. We realized he had some birthday money, so he yeah. wanted to get some monster trucks off. So, our plans this week are. I have to, I have a lot of laundry to do because yeah. I did all the laundry. That was the only thing when, um, when, um, we left. That was the only thing I didn't get a chance to do was to put away laundry. So I had laundry yeah. to do, which is okay because then I got to do laundry from when we were gone and you guys were gone. So I got laundry, reset, grocery shopping. Yeah. We're going to do that one day this week so we can stock up. I promised them Target. He's so goofy. So we're gonna end the vlog because we're just gonna we're just gonna relax for the rest of the evening. Yeah, and wait, mommy kissing. Yeah, my baby boy. It's so different having boys and girls. I'm glad I get to experience both. I'm glad you had not free. I'm glad you had free. Oh. Do it. All right. So let's end the vlog. So. Don't yeah. forget to give this video a big yeah. thumbs yeah. up. Subscribe to our channel mm -hmm. and Bella Bean's channel. Yeah. The link it's is down, down below. below. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.